Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to cr create a Java E8 uh, Jakarta EU micro profile application with uh, cloud native configuration, then create a config map and uh, deploy it in OpenShift or Kubernetes and see how it works. So, I would like what I already did, I created uh, a micro profile Java E8 app with the uh, quick starter, Java 8 quick starter, and I would also like to use the uh, Payara S2i. Uh, image which will build Payara from scratch. So this is not necessary. I could just use a regular, uh, a regular uh, Payara image, but uh, the S2i is uh, more real world because you are able to uh, configure entirely the application server. So now let's start with it. So I would like to switch to the IDE. So the project is already created and it comprises MicroProfile 201 and Java 8. And this is a ping resource with injected message. I just changed this to uppercase, so message, and I have a property file called, um, in the property file you see here, message enjoy. So we should see enjoy in the output. So now let's try that. I would like to switch to, uh, to the command line. And uh, because I do it a lot, I created a script and the script creates new app from the S2i image. And then it starts a build with uh, a war file, but I will have to create uh, the war first. And uh, then afterwards, it exposes the service with the port 8080. And then I just described the route to see the uh, URI. So now uh, the, uh, the war is created, and I would like to use the Payara S2i with the name Airhex. And uh, now it uh, ships the war to uh, OpenShift, and this is the uh, the URI. And what I can do, I would like to open the console and see how the application is doing. So, uh, and just log in. And uh, we have the Airhex apps. As we can see, it is um, already uh, available, so it, um, it, it it is deployed and pushed, and uh, let's see whether the service is available, and it is, so I could try it, and say, what was it, air yeah, hex slash resources slash ping, and it's not deployed yet, but now, as you can see, a little bit larger, enjoy, it seems to work. So now, what about config maps? So what I can actually do, um, I can define a config map. This is this, so it's config map with the name, let's call it airhex again. And the data, the message is going to be uh, configured in maps. And uh, this message is actually not necessary. So we have here configured in maps. So we have data message uh, name is airhex and config map. No. So now this is just a YAML file. And now I would like to switch. So the YAML file is here and say OC apply minus F config map create would also work. So now the config map is created. And now I can see OC DC airhex minus uh, minus uh, minus from equals config map slash air hex and DC air hex this is the so and now the deployment config is updated now let's see what this actually means is um, we are in the console and the deployment and now it is deployed once again a few seconds ago. Why this? Because we updated the environment. So you can see in the environment we have message uh, from the config map message. And uh, let's check out the output. And the output is going to be configured in maps. So this is um, this overrides the property files, which in turn will override the default setting in config, which comes from MicroProfile config. So um, this is our cloud native. Um, cloud native configuration from scratch using the Payara S2i image, which is actually the slowest alternative because it reconfigures the whole server on each deployment. 
and, uh, and using config maps and Kubernetes. So thank you for watching and see you at upcoming co uh, conferences, workshops or even air hacks. Bye.